That sounds fun. Are you into baseball? Not at all. Oh. Uh -uh. My dad is a huge uh -uh. baseball fan, so he used to drag us to the games. I just like the food. <laughs> So I started looking into some application questions. Hey y'all, it's Victoria Hicks and I'm back. I haven't talked to you all in a while. I am coming to you all all natural this morning. Um, it is Monday, April 25th at approximately 9 16 a.m and um as you can see from the previous clips i have already <laughs> been on a meeting and now i am here to talk to y'all to kind of give y'all some context so um let me figure out what day it was i'm really bad at keeping up with dates and anniversaries yeah so on april 12th 2022 I did a thing mm -hmm. I resigned from my teaching job I am no longer a teacher now there's a lot that's going to be said that some people may not agree with um, some people may have um, differing opinions um, and that's okay. This is my life and I'm excited about what God is doing, where God is uh, pushing me, taking me, and I make no apologies for it. So on April 12th, um, I resigned from my teaching job. I did not give them a two week notice. I resigned on that day and I left. I packed up my little duffel bag and I hit the road jack. And um, it was something that I had to do. It was not something that could be negotiated any longer, even though I had been talking with my administration for about two to three weeks. Um, and I just had to do what was best for me, uh, my mental health, my physical health, um, and my spiritual health. And I am excited and happy that I did it. I had been teaching. This was my 13th year in the classroom or 13th year in education because I did have some experience outside of the classroom. But it was my 13th year in education. And to be really frank and direct, I was just burnt out. And... Believe it or not, teachers and those that work in education, whether you are the custodian or the principal or the superintendent, those that work in education, we are frontline workers. When everyone else in other jobs was able to transition to home and stay at home, um, many of us, especially here in Florida, we did not have that liberty. We were in the classroom during the pandemic. Um, we had to work, we had to create a normalcy for children here in America. And um, that has had an effect and a toll on me personally. I don't know about anyone else, um, but it did affect me. Um, so with that being said, I just became burnt out. Not only, um, was I burnt out, I also just experienced a year, a couple of years in teaching, I want to say the last two to three years, where I just did not have the, the support that was needed to be the best self that I can be. Um, I've worked with some amazing administrators. Shout out to one of the best, Miss Dukes. Um, she probably would cringe um, um, hearing her name here, but she was a lifeline for me in keeping me in education for the last two and a half, three years. Um, and I just became burned out. So here I am on a Monday, April 25th. 
after having allowed myself all of last week and Wednesday through Friday of the week before to just get adjusted into my new role as a full-time entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. It feels great to say. It feels nerve-wracking to say. A little tinge, a little tinge of the scariness. Um, but excited nonetheless and grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this. So what you're going to see in the upcoming days, weeks, years, months, I skipped it, days, weeks, months, and years, is me traveling down this road of full-time entrepreneurship. It is a journey. Um, I am a contractor for a tech company right now as well as I'm a contractor for another branding branding and marketing company, as well as doing some of the things that you all know me to do, which is running my um, clothing boutique, as well as many people don't know, but um, I also am a website designer. I build websites for small companies um right now it may be for big companies in the future but right now i do a lot of website designing for small companies i have kept that under the radar but i will not be keeping that under the radar any longer um and so yeah so that's what is going on so welcome to a day in my life i know this was a long drawn out explanation but I wanted to give you that because I know that a lot of you all associate me and my brand to be about me being a teacher and an educator. And then you're going to see me like a day in life on a Monday and I am home <laughs> in my home office slash boutique. So yeah, that's what's going on. So um, I just finished a call with um, the tech company that I work for. We have Monday strategy meetings where we plan out tasks and things that we're going to do throughout the week. So I just finished that. And now I am moving on to packing orders because I have quite a few orders in the boutique and I'm going to pack those. And then I am going to uh, do a UPS drop-off run. Then I need to, because I just started doing local delivery here in my city. So I have a local delivery that I need to do um, for a customer. And after that, um, I am going to be working on some stuff that I plan on putting out very soon um, for business owners, new business owners who would like to learn more about running a um, online business. So yeah, that's it. That's all. Let's get back into it in the day in the life of a full-time entrepreneur. Hey y'all, I'm back. It is now 11.48 a.m. And um, since the last time I talked to you, I've packed all of the orders except for one because um, there was a discrepancy in the order. And so I had to call the customer. Thankfully, the customer was my mama so that it was very easy for me to call her and work out the discrepancy. So I have to swap that out and redo the order and um and once I do that I'm trying to eat a bagel because I have not eaten anything while I was waiting on my mom to respond um 
I had another call, a marketing call with the tech firm that I work for. And um, because we're about to put out some marketing materials for the cohort that they're hosting in a month. And so we need to start advertising for that. And um, I had to do some graphics for that. So I just was working on graphics. Um, I think they came out great. I am not a graphic designer, but I know how to work Canva. So <laughs> I worked some Canva. So I had to do that. Had to build some QR codes and all that other stuff. So I did that and I submitted that to them for their approval. Um, if it's approved, then I'll create or zhuzh up a caption that they already have. Um, and then we'll be ready to post that on Wednesday. So that's what I've been doing for the last hour and a half, two hours. I'm eating a bagel. Um, I need to work on something that I'm going to be doing, which is kind of like Mindset Monday. So that's it. That's the plan. I'll bring you along with me as I drop off orders. But that's a day in the life. I'll be back. All right. So I thought I didn't have to go. I look a mess, y'all. My friends are here I'm visiting. It's a hot mess. Yes. But um, I thought I did not um, have to go back out. But I do. Um, I forgot to package an order. And I want to send that out. I'm really big on having fast delivery. So we are headed to UPS. I got my partner with me. So I don't have to get out. She's going to get out for me. The perks of having a teenager. And yeah. And then we're going to head back home. So it's a very short trip. And I need to put on my seatbelt. So enjoy this little footage of the ride. So I am back. It is now 321. Um, me and my daughter end up going to the hair store because she has um, an event she's going to this weekend. So we're trying to get all that together. But I'm back at 321. I am going to take a break at no later than 430 um, to cook and to then get myself ready for me going live. So what I'm doing now is I'm eating a snack, some chips, but that's all I have. We got to go to the grocery store tomorrow. But um, I'm going to eat my snack. I'm going to watch a YouTube video. And that's kind of how I time myself for time management issues. Like I find like a 20 minute video, YouTube video, and I go, okay, I'm going to take my break, a mental break for this whole video. Um, and I watch like a vlogger or something, something that does not have me to think. <laughs> um for 20 minutes eat my snack just kind of ooh. once it's over then i go back into it so i'm gonna take me a little snack break this video that i'm about to watch is 15 minutes so it's a perfect little break and then i'll get back to working so um i'll see y'all in a bit probably when i'm cooking hey y'all i'm back like i promised i'm about to cook so i'm in the kitchen <sighs> don't mind all the little stuff i was baking a cake I never put the stuff back. I got to do that um, and all of that. So what I'm cooking today is very simple in my house. Um, it's my quick meal and it is Zatarain's dirty rice with ground beef. Um, I do not like ground turkey. I like ground beef and some honey cornbread. So basically I make Jiffy cornbread, I drizzle some honey on top. I do not normally cook in this house, my husband does. So he is the cook, he is the resident cook. I know how to cook, but I do not enjoy it like my husband enjoys it. So I don't cook often. So my husband, like I told y'all earlier, he, has a, he had a gig tonight. Um, so I am making a very quick dinner. 
so we will have something to eat so we do not have to go out and buy something so that's what i'm doing so i'm not going to talk through this video because this is not a tutorial okay i am not here to um teach you how to read the instructions on the back of these boxes um <laughs> and no there is no vegetable tonight it is dirty rice and cornbread eat your food take a shower go to bed all right that's what we're doing tonight so no judgment over here so i'm just gonna um do like a, a time lapse so you can kind of see all the ins and outs i have uh, about an hour and some change maybe an hour and 20 minutes to do it it will not take that long but there you go so see you in a bit Hey y'all, I am back. Mm -hmm. I'm back. And I am at my vanity trying to put on a little bit of makeup because I am going live in a little over an hour on Facebook and Instagram. And by the time this comes out, I would have already gone live, so it no need of me telling you, join me live. No, baby, it's, it's, it's already done. Um, but you can follow me on Instagram at the Victoria Hicks brand. Um, and you can also follow me on TikTok at the Victoria Hicks brand. And you can follow me on Facebook. And guess what? The Victoria Hicks brand. <laughs> That's what you could do. Um, so that you'll, you know, keep a update on when I go live, what I'm doing. But anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just putting a little face um, on, nothing much, just a little concealer around my eye. And um, powder around my face. I'm gonna put a lash on and that is it. And I'm keeping it really simple because um, I really wasn't gonna put on no makeup, but I have some visitors, some pimples on my face that are just very discouraging to the self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? But pimples come to destroy the self-esteem. So I decided to at least put some powder on so I'm not out here looking crazy. So that's what I'm doing, putting some powder on and then, um, yeah, that's it. So I just wanted to come on and let you all know that I'm closing out the vlog. And yes, this is a weird way to close out the vlog in my do-rag and doing my makeup. But this is truly a day in the life of a full-time entrepreneur. I really hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope that um, you learned something new to me. Please continue to watch, share this video with a friend, and like this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel um we're about to really get the ball rolling so don't miss out on this because you'll just be missing out so yeah i'll see you all next time hope you all enjoy the vlog